My favorite part about graffiti, I think that it keeps the spirit of rebellion alive. Our country was founded on rebellion, and I think that if there isn't someone questioning the status quo, if there isn't some kind of dissent and free thinkers out there, you know, thinking outside the box and going their own way and being rebellious, graffiti, I think, was the answer. And now it has become the biggest art movement that the world has ever seen. Five Points has been the only nonprofit organization that is run by writers for writers. Express your artistic talent and have fun and meet other artists, and it's always had a very mellow vibe. And Mears took over and raised the quality of artwork and, and um, just everything to the place, and, and more and more respectable artists were coming there and doing quality work. We're here at Five Points in Long Island City. It's the largest aerosol art exhibit space in the United States. Folks from all over the world became aware of the space and it just grew and grew and grew. Everybody comes to Five Points to paint. I mean, I've had people even ask me from outside of the country, you know, who do I talk to to come to Five Points and paint? I'd love to paint there. Tokyo, Japan, Ireland, everywhere. They're all coming here. They put up on these walls. They put whatever they think is their best. I'm wowed by everything that's here. I can't even believe some of the stuff that's up here. I, Mears, Mears created this like wonderland for artists. It's basically, you come here, you have nothing to worry about at all. That's why this is all, this is just perfection. This is writers at their best. You have to be comfortable with the can. It's, it's everything from uh, the looseness of your stroke to knowing your colors and what pops. It's like a puzzle to me. Like I, I, I like to just lay down a couple of lines and then I kind of see where that goes and I just try to figure it out. I don't have like a set style of lettering that I do, so I just kind of start trying to figure out how do the pieces work together. And I think that's the fun of it. That keeps me drawing. Like every time I go to draw, I do a new style or a new you know, type of lettering style. And, and uh, I, I don't know, I think that's what keeps me motivated to keep drawing. And I think that's the goal is to keep drawing. I'm pretty much influenced by everything around me, from every writer to um, comics to, you know, movies I see, you know. What it is is an attempt to piece together uh, the language of color. So this in a sense is the way our language is. If you look at the way we speak, the way we advertise, it's little bits here and there. And so this reflects somehow those little bits, an attempt to kind of put it together. This is art. I'm just teaching them a lesson. I paint castles, but I don't demand a